Cade Logan stood on the bank, watching the sheriff and his deputies haul the mud-covered vehicle out of the lake. The cane groaned as the auto tilted upward, the rear end lifting into the air, the front wheels dragging across the spongy earth. Brackish lake water poured out through the open windows, along with weeds and silt. Even a few silverfish had made the car their home. For eight long years, Cade had been haunted by the mystery of what had happened to the dark green Subaru Forester that had belonged to his dead wife. Oh, he knew where Heather was. In a grave in the old hillside cemetery in Coffee Springs, the small town closest to the ranch. Her body had been found in a shallow depression up in the hills at the base of the mountains outside Denver. Heather had been beaten and strangled. Any signs of rape had faded as her body decayed, but as beautiful as she was, Cade was sure sex had been involved. Her killer had never been caught. You okay? Sam Bridger, Cade's best friend, stood beside him. A tall, blonde man Cade had known for years. Cade had been too lost in thought to hear him approach. She's been dead eight years, Sam, so yeah, I'm okay but the rage he felt had never lessened. It should have. At the time of her death, their marriage was already on the rocks. The second time Cade had caught Heather cheating, he had filed for divorce. Maybe they'll find something in the car that'll give them a reason to reopen the case, Sam said. Maybe. Cade hoped so. He wanted Heather's killer to be found and punished. No matter how things had turned out between them, he owed her that much. His gaze went back to the car being lifted onto the flatbed of a diesel truck with an Eagle County Sheriff's emblem on the side. The truck pulled away from the edge of the lake, tires churning through mud made worse by last night's rain. The motor groaned as the vehicle slogged along the little-used, rutted lane to the asphalt road leading toward Eagle, the county seat. The last time Cade had seen the dark green SUV was the night Heather had left him. That night she had packed her things, taken the car, and driven away without a backward glance. Cade had never seen her again.